We already know that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is gonna have some epic DLCs and we actually have more leaks regarding characters hidden in the game files. Let's take a look. All right, we got a lot to cover today. Ku making a post about a week ago saying the DLC will focus on and indicates four different people. Gita, another professor, Heath, and a new character. And you might be like, Heath, who's Heath? What new character, what professor? A lot of people voted, 22,000 votes, and ultimately people voted on new character, but we don't have any sort of confirmation on that. They did, however, respond and say chicken was fished. A lot of people are thinking, that was a really bad Google Translate, by the way, in Chinese. A lot of people are thinking that they were talking about baiting Centro, because Centro had also followed up with a post saying DLC leaks have started via Riddler Coup. One of these things should be the right answer, indicating the four. Couple things to note about this. Koo actually says DLC will focus on colon without a question mark. There's no question marks in this post. So it, one could interpret it as if Koo is actually saying it's gonna focus on all four of these things. And that could be pretty cool. But the thing here is who is Heath, right? I actually didn't know who Heath was prior to doing the research for this video. Heath is a character in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And we have this, this he's the author of the Scarlet and Violet book. Heath, the author of the Scarlet Book, shown here with his partner Cyclazar, a natural historian as well as a writer. He was chosen for Area Zero Expedition and penned his account upon returning from the great creator of Paldia. Cyclazar aided the expedition as well by bearing the team's luggage and equipment. So that is Heath, but we're not exactly positive how he's gonna all tie in here. Is he kind of the person behind the time machine? Is he, like, why is he so angry, right? Like, these are pretty legitimate questions. It's interesting that he has a Cyclozar. Is he still around or is this from a long, long time ago? Like how old is the Scarlet and Violet book? Maybe I just don't know, but it's possible that we kind of dive a little deeper into this, but there's some other interesting theories that we're gonna dive into. So the first things first is Central reports on the fact that there's some DLC leaks regarding characters found in the game data. Billy and Onair, two different characters. Onair even has a battle currently programmed with a Cantonian Meowth. She has the Lady Trainer class, even though the class is not currently in the game. Now, something to mention here, a lot of people are speculating that this could actually be Nimona's parents. Billy and Onair could be related to a Nimona's parents or just be Nimona's parents. One of the in-game screenshots we see here are, my apologies, both the master and mistress of the house are away at present. So we know that Nimona is coming from a family that's well off and the parents are not there. It's possible that Nimona's parents aren't in the main game. We know that they're millionaires, but they could be added on later on. So just a couple things to make note of. So we've got Billy, we've got Onair, we've got Heath, three different characters which are in the game files or at least, you know, kind of recognized in some way, but don't have any sort of like functionality yet. So that's gonna be really interesting to look into. Now, a user by the name of Doipy Hooves over on Smogon forums actually made some comments regarding these different things. So the first things first is they're saying that Onair appears as a second to last entry in trainer names. It's also mentioned in the story script for the overworld dialogue. Uh, there's also Billy, who's never mentioned anywhere, and Heath, who we never see in person or talking in-game. One thing to note here is Onair's name in other languages do seem to be closer to girls' names. Uh, in German, Onia, Italian is Abby, Spanish, and Rika. So it is possible that this is referring to a girl, further kind of solidifying a potential theory that Billy is Nimona's dad and Onair is going to be Nimona's mom. And they are, you know, for some reason, these rich character classes. Uh, and maybe they make an appearance in the DLC as part of that. The next bit of interesting re information kind of regarding this DLC and what we could look forward to is Pearl Enthusiast's thoughts on Gita, saying that there's a load of things that actually point towards Gita playing a higher role in the future with more connections to Area Zero than maybe we initially thought. And before I dive into that theory, you guys should check out TeamShotty.com where you can pick up some awesome merch available now. You can use code Stellar to get 15% off and pick up some sweet shirts right before the holiday. Deck out your closet with Team Shiny. We got a bunch of great designs and we're rolling out more. So make sure you don't miss out. Head over to TeamShiny.com and deck out your closet. So Pearl Enthusiast goes on to say, let's start off with her ace Pokemon known as Glamora. Glamora has ties to the gimmick, Terrasalization, of course, and has some ties to the third legendary because they both have ties to that. They also appear in Area Zero very commonly. Glamora do, right? It's a very common Pokemon in Area Zero. Uh, Gita also gives you Terra Blast, which is important, right? So could be coincidental that Glamora is located in Area Zero, but maybe not. 
So in terms of the DLC, we're expecting a third Legendary. We're waiting to see what happens about that. But we also have this shot here of an Imagine Pokemon, which we believe to be like kind of Rizion, Terrakion. We know that Suicune is getting a new form, a Paradox form that we've talked about extensively in the past. So we've got this blurb here that says, A drawing of a fantastical Pokemon is envisioned by our sketch artist. The compactness and cruelty of the strange Pokemon that dwell in Area Zero's lower reaches tickled the artist's imagination. Profit the sketch of what other species might inhabit in these depths might look like. And then they go on to say that a great discovery by a little something shows a line similar to other Pokemon villains. This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world, something that Gita says. And a lot of people are speculating, does Gita, ha Gita have some kind of larger story? Do Paradox Pokemon really come from time? Maybe there's something more mysterious at play. And then shows kind of the image of the Great Tusk and kind of it being not only a sketch, but then also in kind of the real world. And then also bringing up Heath, right? And Heath kind of comes full circle here, as there's a lot of question marks about these clues that have been kind of left in the game up to this point. One last thing to mention on this is a user named Xenoeos on Reddit posts, my guess is Heath, that this is what the DLC is ultimately going to be about. Ku said there was three books, not two. So there's a Scarlet book, a Violet book, which were from Sada and Turo, and the third one could be from Heath, that could be Heath's original copy. Unless Gita is actually a manifestation of the third legendary, in which case that. So, definitely a lot of question marks about Gita, about Heath, and then about potentially Nimona's parents. But I think we're actually going to get some answers sooner than you might think. If you go back in time and look at when the DLCs were ultimately announced for uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, it was actually in early January, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the theories around Gita and the other characters we mentioned today. And if you want to hear about my thoughts about why we could be going to Kalos for the DLC, you should simply check out this video right here and don't miss it. It's in the description as well. TeamShiny.com for some sweet merch and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.